Hello 7 Citizens, my name is Black and welcome to my channel Castle Black Gaming. I will be your guide today continuing from where we left off from the first guide which started your journey and we are now on the planet Art Corp and more specifically the town of Area 18 where you are ready to continue your journey which in this video will include learning where to buy things you need before taking off from the planet so once you are off world you can be more successful. Keep in mind this is just one of 10 guides in this series with guides numbers 2 through 5 being only needed depending on the starter planet that you're on. The guides after these four starter planets will teach you the remaining basics like how to leave the planet, where to go, how to set your spawn location so when the verse kills you, you don't have to start back on the planet where your adventure began because things get easier if you're stationed out in space versus on a planet. I'm also going to show you some other basics like inventory control, how to upgrade your ship, and the very basics of accepting missions and reputation. Now feel free to skip to the guides that you need if you already know the four planets and where things are located, but I promise this will be fast and informative and help you start your journey on the right foot. So let's skip the normal channel advertisements since we took care of those in the first video and get into this great info. Alright, so let's leave the apartment building and let me show you how to get around your starter city of Area 18. The choice to grab armor now or to wait until you get off world is up to you, but I will show you a place to grab some early level gear if you're interested, and I will also briefly explain how the inventory system works, which is one of the most important things a new player needs to learn, so I definitely advise you to keep watching. Now from the apartment building you head out straight, and you will see a couple of storefronts. Now a quick note here is that with update 319 they have added not only a beginner's guide to help you navigate some of what Star Citizen has to offer, but they have also added better signage. Now their beginner's guide does not cover as much as mine, but there could be some similar items that we both share. Regardless, I think there is room for both and hopefully you the player get a better sense of the game through both guides, not to mention my guides continue well past this starter city and so you will want to continue through my guides to learn the most you can. Anyway, back to the stores here. There is a Kasaba clothing store across the way, which is a place to buy stylish outfits but not armor. Over to the right, you can see a store called Cubby Blast. The word ammo is the most prominent word there, which is how you can recognize it. This store is one of the best starter zone places to buy armor and weapons right off the bat, whereas most starter cities do not have a store literally right off your doorstep. So let's go there and grab some gear. So inside you will see armor and weapon displays. Now you want to head over to one of the terminals on the wall which is where you purchase your gear. Again you can interact with the screen by pressing F and clicking on the screen. Anytime you're on a store screen, the first thing you want to do is to look at the choose destination part in the upper left hand corner. Now this is where your gear you buy will end up after you buy it. If you click that little drop down, it will show you all of the options to have your bought items sent to after purchasing them, whether that be the default local inventory or better known as the current place you are at inventory or basically the city's inventory. If you have armor equipped, you might have pockets or a backpack where things will be sent to, or if you have a ship that is stowed away here at the current location you're at, you can have items sent as cargo onto your ships, which will appear in a different inventory screen, which I'm going to show you later. But for now, and for most of your purchases, just keep it default at the current location that you're at, which is Area 18. Then you have filters you can select to narrow down what you're looking for, such as undersuits, armor, personal weapons, etc. Now if you know the name of an armor type that you're needing, you can also just search for it by name. So here I was searching for the pieces that my org uses as their official uniform, which is available here in this store and not available at some of the other stores around the verse. So while I was here, I just figured I'd grab some. Now depending on which armor you purchase, you will have more or less inventory space or attachment hooks for things like ammo or med pins or even your side holster items. You can also pick up a backpack which will greatly aid how much you can carry which is important if you're heading out into FPS situations and you want to be able to take some more loot. Make sure you choose the same size backpack as your torso armor piece. So let's say you bought a medium chest armor piece like I did. You need to buy a medium backpack otherwise you will not be able to equip it. Alright, so now let's look at weapons. You have either the weapons themselves or attachments such as the ammo they take or various weapon modifications like muzzle suppressors or scopes, etc. For my needs, I grabbed a P4 AR assault rifle and an LH86 pistol. 
I also need ammo for these so I typed in the gun's name and changed the drop down to attachments and bought the two types of ammo that I needed that matched the guns I just bought. Now in the miscellaneous filter you can find med pins. and some food and drinks to keep your stats up while you get out because various weather effects or if you get injured can be taken care of if you're properly equipped. Now another little tip here is that if you grab the yellow energy drink it replenishes both hunger and thirst. Now also before you leave check back under personal weapons and look for the multi-tool. This little gadget is something you never need to be without and it has multiple attachment heads that you can equip on it one at a time which will open up hand mining or some other feats as well but more importantly the tractor beam. Buy two or more if you can. The tractor beam can literally save your life or allow you to complete some difficult missions where things might be out of reach. So before heading anywhere, let's equip what we just bought and also at the same time learn something about the inventory system. So after leaving the terminal, step out into the middle of the floor, away from the terminals, and then press I. This opens up your inventory screen. Now if you don't see your character in the center of the screen, it's because you are too close to a wall, which is why I suggested you to step away. Now with your inventory screen up, you have a little inventory window on the right side. You can select filters to sort what you see, so since you want to equip your armor, let's select that unless you need to change your undersuit first from that ugly stock white one that we get. Now you can drag items from yourself over into the window or you can control double click items to equip them. Now moving between the filters, equip your undersuit or armor first, then you can equip your weapons. And tools. And med pins. You will need to attach any attachments such as the tractor beam or weapon attachments if you bought those. I usually drag the multi-tool attachment on and then I hover over it to make sure that it's actually in fact there. Once you're fully dressed, it's time to move on. Now from here you have a couple of options to go to depending on if you're ready to leave or if you have the finances available to upgrade your ships, which also includes mining ships. You probably do not have the money to do this right now, but I will show you the two ship stores here and you can always come back to this video to find them again if you need to. You're also welcome to skip ahead on the timeline to where we travel to the spaceport. Anyway, from Cubby Blast, there is a store back around the corner from the apartment we started in. Go back over toward the apartment and then pass it. What we're looking for is a left corridor with the Zone 2 sign overhead. Go that way. Follow along until you see this pizza cart. Now take the bridge to the right of that cart. You will see a Dumper's Depot down to the left and an Astro Armada directly ahead. The Astro Armada is a ship sales store where you can purchase some of the ships for in-game credits once you have enough. There's another store on Hurston where you can also purchase ships, and as with most stores in the verse, different ships carry different items, so be sure you know where you're headed before making the trip. Anyway, from the front of the Astro Armada, take a right and head down the stairs on your right. Then hit another right going under that bridge you just crossed, and directly ahead is the Dumpers Depot where you can buy ship components such as quantum drives, shields, etc. Now after leaving Dumpers Depot, there is one more ship store here in Area 18, not to mention a trade location that you're going to want to know about. So if you start by turning right and head across this bridge with the hot dog cart on it, you're going to be on your way. Follow along up the stairs and toward the Art Court Plaza sign above. There's a food court, but don't go that way, but continue under the sign around the bend, 
and then to the right, still following the Art Court Plaza signs up the stairs. When you see the big twirling gear ball, we are at the plaza, which is where these shops are. To our left is the building where the center mass is located, which is the store we'll be going to. But first, looking right, that over there is the transit building where you can find the hover trams that will carry us to the spaceport. I'll go around that way, passing quickly by the hospital to our right as we pass. Now this is the entrance to the transit building. Now moving on over past it, this way is the TDD building, which is where you can sell trade items you'll be doing to earn money if you choose to do so. Anyway, moving on from the TDD is the building that we need to enter, so let's go ahead and go inside. As you enter, head to the left up the stairs. And then over to the left corner where there's an elevator that can take you up to center mass. There are of course signs directing you here within the building on the walls. Now after taking the elevator up, you have arrived at a great shop to pick up various ship weapons when you're ready. Now with your center mass business concluded, you are ready to take the elevator back down. We then exit the building heading out front and then to the left or right to go to the transit station. Either way is fine. Head through the entrance where the sign overhead says transit platform and then down the stairs heading right going under the sign that says to Riker Memorial Spaceport and down the hall until you get to this point. Wait here at the tram gate until it arrives. Once the tram arrives, get on board and take a cool scenic trip through one of the coolest sci-fi looking cities in the game. Once the tram arrives at the destination, get off and head up the short flight of stairs with the hangar sign overhead and head toward the right. Keep going through the corridors following the yellow hangar signs. Go through the blue glowy scanner things. Then left until you arrive at this area with the big wall with the ad on it. Go around this, then straight, and you're going to see another yellow hanger sign and go that way through the hallway until you see yet another hanger sign saying to go to the right. Then just over to the left are the ship terminals along the wall right next to where the hangers are. Now is where this guide ends, but do check out the next guide number 6 where I discuss calling out your ship and how to move inventory off this world and into your ship. The guides going forward are a lot shorter and so I will see you in the 6th guide, but until then remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. The first steps in the verse are just the beginning of something larger and more dangerous. And stay positive citizens.